upgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. I think it should have been called Traveler Motor Inn instead of Motel. It sounds better. Meanwhile, inland, Atlanta has been downgraded temporarily to an eight, with attacks and rioting being reported in all precincts. Citizens are currently advised to stay in their homes or move towards the cities of Charlotte, Atlanta, and Orlando. That's disturbing. Hey, Glenn. With uncountable severe emergencies in all counties, Georgia's cities and their current level of disaster are as follows. Atlanta, stage 9 catastrophe. Augusta, stage 8 I think I need to go. To Atlanta? Yeah. I got friends there. And I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city. Sounds like nobody knows what's happening there. When we left a few days ago, could have gone either way. I gotta take my chances. You gotta do. You gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. And Lee, you know, if this doesn't get better, people are going to give up. Like the girl from upstairs. She was dead, other. She was dead. Her? Okay. You told Carly to give her the gun. You know? Yeah, I did. Maybe you were. Right. I just want to help. I don't know how to handle something like that. Anyway, see you around. She wasn't giving up. She knew there was no cure, so she just did what was best. Nothing, no harm in that. Hey, kid. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. You got it. Did you check the glove box? I swear I saw it. I wonder what God just talking about. How you doing, Carly? I'm okay. You know, considering. I do, yeah. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. It happened pretty fast. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I'd rather be alone, I think. I understand. Wait, Lee? What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. You had a gun. You picked me. So I picked you. I was gonna help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Well, Clem could have gotten the ammo, so we both could have made it, you know. Fuck you. I thought Super Dinosaur was toast, but you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. I'm sorry, there's uh, not a lot of kids here. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Glenn had the other one. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense, but it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. It's gone. Maybe we can find you another one. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Please, I don't Let need this right now. This. Larry. Oh, man. Clementine, another thing. Larry, Larry. You, you like my daughter? No. She's fine. Fine, huh? Well, just fuck you, Lee Everett. That's right. I know who you are, and I know you're a killer. And you go near my daughter or step on a line once, and so will everyone else. I know who you are. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you, <laughs> you watch your ass. Yeah, well, hey, if you kill me, Lee, then shit's Do happen. you have a second? My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. Yeah, exactly. I saved his ass. He should be kissing the floor I walk on. You're only one man. Something like that. I don't know. We're lucky to have you. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor end's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. We got beds, we got water, and most importantly, we got light. They're worse places to call home. Is yeah, there food? You're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay. Next time on The Walking Dead. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Well, that seems interesting. Uh, only forty five percent. Oh, I was looking the wrong. Anyway, I think that'll do it for this episode. Actually, it is. This episode of this one. Oh, which means I'm gonna go play some more. Yeah. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you later. Goodbye. <laughs>